Hi, and welcome to our latest experiment. In this video, I will put the power of AI against the experience of a real human trader. We will be exploring the price channel breakout strategy and challenge our AI model, ChatGPT, to see how it will perform. In case we get anything interesting, I'm going to write my own algorithm in the next video and compare performance results later on. I will also share with you the Python code that I will be using in this video. You can download it from the link in the description below in case you are curious and willing to experiment and extend our strategy. So sit back, relax, and let's enjoy this. When we talk about the channel breakout indicators, we usually have the candlestick chart patterns and we uh, have our fractal points and this is a typical channel and the breakout happens to be here because after the breakout, we expect the trend to continue in the same direction, at least for a while. And that's what we will try to make ChatGPT right for us today. Just before we start, whatever we're having today with ChatGPT, I'm going to program this same exact strategy, the price channel breakout my way in the next video. And you will notice the difference and the control we have on every single detail in our program. So stay tuned and yeah, let's get started. Now let's start with the uh, trading topic. Define price breakout. Okay, so it's generating the uh, definition of the strategy, the trading approach and identifying key levels of support and resistance. That's good. All right, so we sell or we buy when we have a breakout beyond these levels. So the bot is aware of the trading strategy using channels and price breakouts. So that's good. We're going to try to generate more details to put the bot into the context. Generate related strategy or detailed strategy instructions. So this is a step-by-step -step guide to implementing a price breakout strategy according to Chad GPT. So we identify the asset, determine key levels of support and resistance, use technical analysis tools, trend lines, chart patterns. So that's what we have been doing so far. Pay close attention to levels that have been tested several times in the past and observe the price action at those levels. That's good. Set up entry and exit rules. This is the most challenging part in a strategy. Decide at what price level you will enter a trade and so on. Monitor the assets price movements. Obviously, we're going to monitor this once we open a position. Use stop loss orders to limit potential losses in case. OK, then enter the trade. OK, manage the trade. We have to monitor the open trades. If the price continues to move in the expected direction, consider adjusting your exit strategy to capture additional profits. That's very smart. That's what we have not been doing so far on this channel because we have been focused on building the um, perfect indicator. So overall, the uh, answer of ChatGPT is not very detailed. Actually, we don't have any specific technical details of one specific strategy. It's very general. These points can be applied to any um, strategy. So obviously, when we open a trade, we have to put stop loss and take profits. We have to follow the trades and manage the trades as long as they are opened. So nothing special so far. But let's push ChatGPT to write a program in Python about this. Can you provide a Python code for the breakout or the price breakout? Let's see what we get. So we're going to use pandas and technical analysis libraries. Read underscore CSV price underscore data dot CSV. So ChatGPT is assuming we have a file, a CSV file where we have our data and it's loading this data. So we have to provide this or simply replace this part in the code. Then it's using the uh, moving average with a window, a rolling window of, of 20 candles. We have an upper band, a middle band, and a lower band. It's something very similar to the Bollinger bands that's generating now. And then we're going to buy if the price breaks above the upper Bollinger band. And then if we break below the uh, Bollinger band, this is a sell position, then it's going to calculate the daily returns of the strategy. Okay, apparently it's doing some plotting at the end here. So we're going to try and copy this code and I'll try to provide a CSV file 
make it run and we'll take a look at the results. Okay, so I copied and pasted the whole code in my Jupyter notebook file. I replaced uh, the read underscore CSV price underscore data dot CSV by this line because I have this um, data file, this CSV file, the Euro US dollar candlestick daily chart, daily time frame between 2003 and 2023. So it should be enough to evaluate the strategy over 20 years. But the first thing when I ran this code, I got that uh, no module named TA, which is normal. I'm going to try to install it. So let's go for pip install TA technical analysis. Probably I know I have pandas underscore TA. I'm not sure it's the same package. I'm going to try and run the um, set again. And we have another problem. Bollinger Bands object has no attribute Bollinger Bands. And this is annoying because this means that the first code ChatGPT is writing doesn't work. Let me see this line. So there is no function called Bollinger Bands apparently. Okay, so I went on to check the documentation and it seems that there's a different way of doing this. It's not a correct syntax that ChatGPT has provided. I'm just going to take these um, information here, assuming this is the correct version, and I'm going to merge these with the, uh, the program we are trying to test. So indicator underscore Bollinger Bands equal to Bollinger Bands. Uh, close is equal to the uh, data frame close column window is 20 and the uh, deviation is two two standard deviations we have those three columns i'm going to rename these according to whatever uh chat gpt's preference is so middle band uh, actually this one then we have the upper band which is the high and the lower band is this one so it's still not working, something is still missing. So name Bollinger Bands is not defined. Going back to the documentation, we have to import the Bollinger Bands function from eta.volatility. So we just do this and let's run it again. And now we have our data frame. Let's check if we have the upper band, the lower band and the middle band. So it looks like it's working so far. So uh, we have something running, we have the moving average over 20 days and so on. So that's good. We know that the program so far is reading the CSV file and providing the uh, 20 days moving average. We can erase this line. We don't need it anymore. And then we are computing the uh, Bollinger Bands. Now the other part of the program, we are defining a new um, buy signal column in the data frame in case the closing price is above the upper band. And this is correct then we are locating the places where or the rows where we have a buy signal equal true and the column position is equal to one in this case which means it's a buying position and in the opposite case where we are closing below the um, 20 days moving average we are selling the um, position so it looks like chat gpt is trying to evaluate a buy only strategy because we have first we have buying positions if we are breaking above then we are closing this buying position when we uh, when the price drops below the moving average then we're going to uh, forward fill the uh, position column and that's because we want to hold the uh, position our buying position until a sell signal is generated and at this point we have the strategy returns column this function is going to compute the percentage of change of the closing prices between each row and its previous row, previous neighbor. And we're going to multiply this by our position. So if the position is one, we're multiplying this percentage by one, so it's positive. If the uh, position is negative, we can multiply the uh, change, the percentage of the change by negative uh, values. So we have positive percentages and negative percentages according to our trading. We're going to do the sum of all of these to obtain the overall result of our trading. And that's why we're doing the cumulative sum at this point. And if we plot these, I'm going to run all of this. This is our equity or the percentage. So we're starting at zero. It's climbing a bit and then we are dropping down. 
using what ChatGPT has provided us. Now we could try to be more specific with ChatGPT and try to provide additional information to maybe make this um, strategy a bit more rewarding. Let's try to ask him to use the fractals in this case. Can you regenerate the Python code but using fractal points and regression instead of the Bollinger bands. Okay, so it started to generate our new version. It's using the technical, this is interesting actually, this is now starting to be more interesting. So it's using the technical analysis package to compute the fractals, which is something I was using, I was doing manually. So I was coding these parts manually. So we have fractals high and fractals low, and it's generating a buying position when the price breaks above the fractal high. Makes a bit of sense at this point, but I had something different in mind. Like I had a regression before the uh, buying and selling positions. Anyway, we have a selling position, a sell signal, when the uh, closing price is below the fractal low. Again, it's going to um, forward fill the position column. And at this point, it's introducing the uh, simple linear regression. Let's check. It's, it's probably for the trend. So ta.trend.linear regression, then using a regression line function. I assume it's in the technical analysis package. So I'm not very familiar with the package. We're going to try this in a while. And then we're going to sell when the price drops below the regression line. If the um, closing price is below the regression line, in this case, it's going to generate a sell signal. So it's going to be equal negative one. So now it got me confused because we have two selling signals now. We are generating a sell signal if we are below the fractal low, also below the uh, regression line. But the forward fill uh, method is applied immediately after the first sell signal, and it's not taking into account this particular selling signal. Anyway, let's trust ChatGPT and see what it gives. So this is the uh, strategy returns and then the cumulative sum just as before. We're going to copy this part and we're going to take it to our notebook for the test. So our new updated program would look like this. We are importing the, uh, the CSV file, then the fractals, we're calculating the fractals, the buy signal, and so on. So I'm going to cut this part I'm going to run this. So we have we have a first error, we have no attribute fractals in TA. So I'm going to Google this and get back. I'm not sure any fractals are in the um, documentation of technical analysis library. I've been searching for a while, but I can't seem to find any function or any variable called fractals. But there might be a different solution using um, a different package called technical analysis Python. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT to generate the same solution only using a different library. So can you generate the same solution using the um, API module? Okay, so it's importing the correct library. Probably the rest is going to be pretty much the same. In this case, I'm just taking this line and we're going to see if it corrects our problem. So import technical analysis Python as TA. We are again loading the file. These are the fractals. These might be corrected. So ta.fractals and let's see if it works. So no module named TAPI. Yeah, obviously I don't have it. I'm going to uh, install it. Okay, so the way this works is that we're going to import from the TAPI UI uh, indicators. And then we're going to apply the indicators to our data frame using this um, method. So i is equal indicators, we're going to feed our data frame, and then we're calling the function related to the technical indicator we'd like to add to our data frame. I'm going to use this for the fractals, for example, so fractals are going to be column name, let's say fractals, I'm not sure how it's going to do this, it should be more than one column because we would have high and low fractals. So there's a function in their manual here, it's 
function point 13 we have fractals i'm going to check what are the parameters for this function and as we have been assuming it needs two um, columns two names for two columns because we have high fractals and low fractals let's take these into our code and check how it's working it should be fine now so we have the fractal high fractal low I don't have any details how this function works. I usually check the neighbor's candles around one candle. You can take two or three neighboring candles and see if the highest or lowest prices are occurring within a particular candle, in which case it's a fractal candle. I don't know the comparison range or the window of comparison that this function is using, but we're gonna use it for now because ChatGPT has proposed this approach. So I'm taking this part of our cell and we're going to replace this part with the um, content so this is where we're calculating the fractal points and i think it should be fine so far we still have some problems fractal high is a key error uh, yes because there's a difference so we're using fractals high with an s let's use and now it's working. So this cell is working. We have a data frame with a new proposition of ChatGPT. And we can test this strategy using this cell. So now it's going to be the uh, regression line computation. And it seems that in the new version, it replaced this line by this one. So it looks much simpler. Let's see if it works. I'm going to um, copy and paste it. And we still have a problem. So linear underscore regression function doesn't exist exactly. Um, we can't use it the way ChatGPT is providing it. So we could eventually use different libraries in this case because it seems that the um, CA Python technical analysis Python library doesn't have a regression line function. But we could use scikit-learn or numpy's polyfit or um, any statistical library in Python to do this. The, uh, the thing that's bothering me is that I don't know over which points and what is the window range over which we're going to do the regression line. So that's a regression line column here that's been added to our data frame. And we're using whatever function to create a regression line from the closing prices but it seems like ChatGPT is trying to fit all the previous closing prices um, maybe also taking into account the future prices which is a look ahead bias in this case into one single line and I don't see how this is helping the strategy and on top of it the uh, forward fill line for the position column is applied before this particular negative signal that is generated by the regression line i think this whole part here doesn't make sense to me just for the sake of making our code work we're gonna delete this part and try to run the code and then we're gonna draw our conclusions it's quite interesting that in the first part we have around 2000 days where it's climbing up as a strategy and then it's going down now just keep in mind that in this testing in this type of back testing it's not really reliable. We're not taking any take profit stop loss ratios. We're not considering any leverages, no commission fees, no spread fees. It's lacking a lot of details. So as we can see, building a correct trading strategy is challenging even for one of the best AI models of our time today. And it seems like it's mixing functions from different libraries at this point. So it used one function fractals, for example, from, I don't know, from a different library at first. So we were using the uh, EA library and we had to go to Google the fractals function where it's coming from to take this into account we had to import and install a new um, library one important uh, point to keep in mind is that ChatGPT was trained on content up to 2021 so it doesn't have really the latest python libraries developed recently in the last couple of years and this also is true for any other information including trading of course so if you're looking for something that was published on the net in the last couple of years ChatGPT might not be aware of it at this point that being said, it's a great tool for writing text, and I know many of my colleagues and friends had great success using ChatGPT in different fields. However, I stand by my initial thoughts. It's not as powerful for trading strategies, and it doesn't even get close to any of the trading systems developed by real humans. In the next video, I'm going to program this same strategy, the price channel breakout, 
my way and you will notice the difference and the control we have on every single detail in our program. So stay tuned until our next one. Trade safe and see you next time.